You're all alone. It's probably not a stretch to say that the Friday the 13th movies aren't great. Really, they're not even very good, but if you're a fan of cheesy 80s slasher flicks, and I definitely am, then have I got super news for you. The first one is still the best, and spoiler alert, Jason doesn't even show up until the very end. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go visit Camp Crystal Lake. Currently sitting at 12 movies and some video games, Friday the 13th's got quite the legacy. For starters, the hockey mask Jason Voorhees is synonymous with slasher films, and he's not even the original killer. Please don't look at me like that. Even if you haven't seen Friday the 13th, you know Jason's not the killer. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! 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 I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. It was Jason. Afraid not? No way. Listen, it was Jason. I saw that movie 20 times. Then you should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. I'm afraid that was a wrong answer. If you haven't seen Scream either, then I, um, well, I apologize for ruining it just now. Oh, what monster could have done this? Jason wouldn't really become the killer until part two, and he didn't even get his trademark hockey mask until part three. By the time part four rolled around, Jason Voorhees was a household name and goalies would never be the same. But what made the original Friday the 13th so special, besides giving us Kevin Bacon only to immediately kill him, is that Jason's mother, Pamela Voorhees, was actually the killer, but up until the big reveal, nobody knew that. Plus, she's got quite the motive. Jason was my son, and today is his birthday. Shout out to Betsy Palmer, who is just so, so good in the role. Hell hath no fury like a mother out for revenge. <laughs> the special effects, while relatively tame by today's standards, also still hold up really well and effectively turn Tom Savini into a special effects legend. So does Friday the 13th deserve a rewind? <laughs> yes, most definitely. You can't call yourself a fan of slashers and not be familiar with the original Friday the 13th. If Psycho is the granddaddy of slasher movies and Halloween perfected the genre, then Friday the 13th at least deserves credit for sending slashers into another stratosphere of popularity. It introduced many of the tropes that we would see again, and again, and again. Overall, I'd say Friday the 13th is cheesy, it's plotting at times, but also features some outstanding makeup effects and a scene-stealing performance from Betsy Palmer that gave the franchise legs for 11 more movies, which might be Six movies too many, but that's for you to decide. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian and tell me what your favorite Friday the 13th movie is, and literally nobody will say Jason goes to hell.